Hey guys, um, it has been a long time since I have done anything <laughs> on YouTube uh, for the vlog, so the real reason behind that is kind of just that I don't know why I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> I just get lost in my own head and start walking around. I don't know, that's kind of weird, but it is what it is. Anyway, the the deal with the whole break from YouTube that I've kind of been on is that I've just felt kind of uninspired and... I, I don't know. I don't have a good... a real good reason for it. I just needed to take a break. It was feeling really repetitive, and I just needed to stop for a while. A few things have happened since I last was making YouTube videos. Um, I bought a project car. It's an 86 Mazda RX-7, which I'll show you in a little bit when I go outside, because um, I'm actually going to do a little bit of work on it today. Because um, I have today off, and I said, you know what, I'm just going to work on some projects, and all that stuff. Uh, holy cow, Crow Peak is on fire. It is crazy. I can't actually see it from my house right now, but maybe later today I will take a camera out and, and go film it a little bit because it, it truly breaks my heart that, that Crow Peak is on fire because, you know, I love mountain biking there, I hike there, and it, it's, it's one of my spots, you know? I was reading the the Forest Service report or whatever last night, and they said it's like over 300 acres now, which, oh, it's just, it's, that's pretty big. It's just, and it's on fire. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about things that are bumming me out. <laughs> I am going to go get working on the car, so I will show you guys around, show you kind of what I'm going to start working on. Actually, these these boxes right here are car parts that I pulled off of it already. Um, it has some rust issues, and so that's kind of my main focus right now is, like, neutralizing those problems, those problem areas, and just making sure that the car is sound before I put too much more effort into it. Um, so that's been my main goal. Okay, so I'm gonna go show you the car. Yeah, see, I already started fixing some of the rust or grinding down the paint, and you know, there's like, some more I gotta deal with there. No engine. Um, it's got some big, big rust problems down there. I think today I'm gonna tackle. The interior. Let's see how it goes. I was actually just noticing, well, not noticing, remarking to myself that this is actually only the second time I've been actually inside this car. Um, one was just a few minutes ago when I was clearing out all this junk out of the footwells. The previous owner well, actually, probably a couple previous owners ago, started stripping it down for, um, to be a drift car, and, um, started removing, you know, they removed all the carpets and, like, all this sound deadening and stuff, um, which I haven't decided if I need to remove it or not, um, and some of it's in good shape, some of it's not, uh, because they started removing it. Um, plus there's the, also the issue of rust. Um, you can clearly see there's some evidence of rust over there. There's some rust along the seat support right here. Um, so that may require me to... That may require me to take it all out better shape than I thought it was going to be in here. I can say that. Um, although, there's no dash. There is no anything. <sighs> Alright, what's up guys? I had to take a little break from working on the car. 
it was getting too hot and um, the battery died in my drill. So I'm just kind of vegging out, enjoying my air conditioning a little bit. It has actually been working lately, which is, woo, hallelujah. Um, it took a while for me to like get it kind of figured out and stuff, but I'm really glad that it's working now. Um, I think I'm gonna eat a little bit of lunch and then I might drive out and um, look, get find find a good view of the Crow Peak fire. Um, just because I'm kind of interested to see it. I'm kind of interested to, you know, see the craziness that's going on there. As you guys saw when I was working in the car, um, that thing needs so much work. Um, which, of course, led me to an idea. Um, because I know that not all of you guys who watch my vlogs are going to really care so much about the drift build process. Um, and it may not, and you know, full disclosure here, I may not end up building it into a drift car. I don't know. It, it all depends on um, kind of what I discover in this build process and all of that. So there's just, you know, know that going in. When I say drift build, it means I'm talking about that car, just so that you know. Um, anyways, I was thinking about doing a s kind of separate video series uh, about the drift build. Um, so, I don't know, is, let me, let me know in the comments, if you guys end up watching this, and the drift build is something you'd like to see, you know, more details of, you know, what I'm doing, and the progress, and problems that I ran into, and all of those things, if that's something you guys would like to see, let me know in the comments, because, like I said, it would be a little, it'd be fun to kind of do something like that, you know, a little bit different than the vlogs, um, yeah, I don't know. So initially I wasn't going to drive out and film the fire, but oh my gosh, it looks like it's getting really out of control. I just want to go get a better view of it, and I brought a camera with me. Oh. Just, it's scary. That's that's the best way to phrase it. Wow. Look at that. Ugh. home and actually I think this is where I'm gonna leave it for the day um, thank you guys so much for watching thank you for putting up with me you know taking a break and just kind of reevaluating uh, how I am going to proceed with this whole YouTube thing um, I will try and get to back to making some more regular videos but this is what I've got for today so Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.